I know all of us like to do activities. Yes. So we are going to have a small game. So I have written a chart with the numbers 0 to 20. And I have written it in pencil so that you will place the numbers that are already written in pen on the chart. Understood children? So I am just going to randomly take out a number and you are going to tell me where I should place that number. Okay. So what number is this? Yes, it is number 2. So I am going to see where is number 2 on the chart and I am going to stick it on the chart. So are you ready to do it along with me? Yes. So number 2. Where is number 2? Yes, so I am placing number 2. I place number 2. The next number, what number is this? Yes, it is number 9. Can somebody tell me where is number 9 on the chart? Is this number 9? No. So where do I find number 9? Yes, number 9 is here. So I am placing number 9 here. Shall we take the next number? The next number is number 8. So I will place number 8 on the chart. This is number 8. Number 7. So does 7 come after number 8? No, it comes before number 8. So we will be learning what number will come before and after and between. So number 7. I'm placing number 7 on the chart. I hope you are watching me children. So when I finish this activity, you can tell mommy to make a chart for you and you can place the numbers on the chart. So the next number is number 3. So I'm placing number 3 in its place. Number 3. Number 4. This is number 4. Number 5. So I place number 5 after number 4. You can draw it very colorfully so that it will look very attractive. This is number 6. I place number 6. 1, 0. So what is this? Is it number 20 children? 1 and 0. Is it number 20? No, it is number 10. So I place it at the side of number 9. Now we are coming to number 1. I place number 1 here on top. And this is number 0. Number 0. Okay, so now we have got numbers from 0 to 10. So shall we tell the numbers children? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have numbers 0 to 10. Now we are going to do numbers 11 to 20. So randomly I am just going to take any number and place it in its appropriate place. So this is number. So not number shall we take. Okay, so the first number is number 13. So I place number 13 in its place. The next number, I have taken number 20. 2, 0 is 20. I place number 20. You can make the chart a little more bigger so that it will be easy for each number to fit in its place. So the next number is number 12. This is number 12. Or you can draw the chart in the form of a flower with all the petals as numbers. And so you will be able to count the number of petals on the flowers as well as be able to identify the 
numbers. The next number is number 16. So shall we place 16 in its place? Yes, so this is number 16. Next is number 18. 1, 8. It is 18. So I am going to place it here. Number 18. So let us see what is the next number. Can anyone tell me what number is this? I don't know because I haven't seen what number. Yes, now I'm going to look at it and tell you what number is this. Oh, it is number 17. So we will place number 17. And we have how many more numbers left? Yeah, we have number 11, number 14, number 15 and number 18. Sorry, I'm number 19. So we have four more numbers left. So this is number 14. So I'm going to see where I can place number 14. Then we've come to number 11. So I'm placing number 11 on the board. The next number is number 19. I place 19. Have we fitted all the numbers children? Can we have a look? Yes. So we have number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, so there is one number missing. Can anyone tell me what number is missing? Yeah, is it number 20? No, number 20 is already there. So if we look closer, we can see what number is missing. Yeah, it is number 15 that is missing. So we are going to put number 15. So this is number 15. So have we placed all the numbers in its place? So we are going to tell the numbers from 0 to 20. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have all the numbers placed on the number chart. So you can use designs whatever you like. As I've already told you, you can draw a flower with a different petals and place each number over the petals. So I've got another activity for you wherein you will see how the numbers are being placed.